Hello everyone and welcome to Season 2, Episode 8 of Tradition of Excellence. Today, my friend and fellow castmate, Doug Wood, will be interviewing Luke McLaughlin. He uh, helped make the musical possible and he will give a wise message from a fellow hot dog and a fellow cardinal. Chirp, chirp. Welcome to this episode of the Trish of Excellence with Luke McLaughlin, otherwise known as Mr. Mack, graduate of 2010. Uh, so starting off, Mr. Mack, what were you involved in while you were a student here at Frankfurt? Well, while I was here at Frankfurt, I, as I'm sure you're probably not surprised, I was very involved with the theater department here at school. Uh, I participated on the swim team as well as the golf team while I was here in high school. Uh, I was part of NHS, Key Club, and other service organizations. Um, I was heavily involved while I was here at school, but I would say probably my, my heaviest involvement was with the theater department. Uh, hooligans as well, if you didn't know this, I created the emblem for oh, Hooligans. Really? Yep. So yeah, I, I, was, I spent a lot of time in the theater while I was here at school at, at Frankfurt. Yeah, so we're running the, the musical tonight. Mm -hmm. um, won't be aired today, obviously, but mm -hmm. that's why I'm dressed as I am. Um, can you talk a little bit about what you're doing now? Sure. Uh, so after I graduated from Frankfurt in 2010, I went to Ball State and I studied theatrical directing and digital production. Um, and then after I moved from Ball State, graduated with both those degrees, I worked in Chicago for a while professionally, and then I got my teaching license, went back to school, and started teaching first at Zionsville, and then I started at Clinton Prairie. This is my fifth year at Clinton Prairie, and I teach English language arts there. I direct the fall play, and then we've also started this partnership with Frankfurt mm -hmm. in the spring to do the musicals together. Yep, and I know you're also involved with um, the Red Barn. Can you yep. elaborate a little bit more on what you do at the Red Barn sure. in the summer? Uh, so at the Red Barn in the summer, I am the associate artistic director. So Mr. Taylor is the artistic director, and then I'm kind of the, the second in command. I help him with a lot of the front of house items and also designing building sets. I perform on stage. We, we kind of do everything at the barn, and I know he would not like for me to say that it's he's in charge and everybody <laughs> else is below him. Um, it, it's definitely a, a team effort, mm -hmm. and I'm just a, a big part of that team. And then the other item that I do here in town is I'm also on the board for Clinton County Civic Theater, oh, really? so okay. I do a lot of the design work for them, building, lighting their sets, and I'm in shows for them as well. So uh, theatrical organizations here in the community, I'm, I'm a big part of a lot of them. I know, so I'm going to Ball State this um, next fall. Mm -hmm. um, can you elaborate a little bit more on uh, what your time at Ball State was like? Sure. So I loved Ball State, and any student that decides to go to Ball State, I'm always excited for them. When I was there at Ball State, I worked on a multitude of projects. I was a directing major, as I said, so I worked as, as an assistant director on a lot of shows, both at the University Theater and at Strother. Now they're gonna get a big new shiny space here in the next couple of years, mm -hmm. which I'm excited to see what that looks like. But I also worked on short films. I shot a feature length film in Nebraska when I was a junior in college. It was just a lot of creative artistic projects that kind of set me up for my professional career. I mean, I learned a lot while I was in the classroom, but what was most important to me was the ability to work on projects and kind of get my feet wet in mm -hmm. a sense, mm -hmm. learned a lot of things of what not to do, what to do, and hone my skills outside of the classroom. And that I think is kind of what made me commit my life to the arts in many forms. Yeah, I know Ball State is a, a great school for theater, but it's also a great school with media, which is yes. what I'm going yep. into. And I think Ball State is really growing mm -hmm. and a beautiful campus now. Yes. Um, so when I, I would, took a visit there, I just fell in love with it. Yes. Um, but now, can we talk a little about um, what you would tell your high school self now that you are uh, five years into teaching at Clinton Prairie? Sure. So I totally changed what I was going to do when I hit December my senior year. Like I had plans to go to Indiana Wesleyan and study something different. And I followed my gut, I think. And I went and studied theater and digital filmmaking at Ball State. And I'm glad that I made that choice. Uh, but I stressed over the little things a lot when I was in high school. It was one of those where I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I think the advice that I would give to, I mean, and I do give to high schoolers as a teacher, is that you don't have to have it all figured out. 
the day you walk out the door, like most people go through career changes and they change what their future may look like. And I needed to hear that. When I was a senior, I think that I was so caught up in I have to do this and I have to know every single thing that I want to do as soon as I walk out these doors. And that's just not the truth. Mm -hmm. um, and I wouldn't change anything. I mean, I've, I've had all kinds of different jobs. I've worked retail as management. I've worked in a box office at a big theater in Chicago. I've changed teaching positions. I've gone different places, done different things, lived in different states. And I think all of those items have made me who I am. Yeah, I think that's great advice. Um, I've kind of been fortunate enough to know what I want to do. Sure. With fell in love with HGTV here on the media program. But I know a lot of friends that may not know what they want to do yet. Sure. And I think it can be a little scary. Um, Absolutely. Graduating high school, going into the real world, and knowing you, know, you don't have to do what you started doing for the rest of your life. Right. Um, there's just so many opportunities out yes. there. But that'll wrap up this episode of Tradition of Excellence with Luke McLaughlin. Thank you for tuning in, and we'll see you next time. See ya. <laughs>